कैसे हो भाई लोग यहाँ बैठे बैठे गांड फड़ गई लेडीज एंड जर्मन How we all doing, man? How a single chat like you is doing today? Because the GTA 6 leaker, you probably remember that, right? The same guy that leaked that Lucia Bunda last year, right? Or I should say, two years ago, or technically a year and a half. He leaked it September 2022, and he is apparently back. He's still in custody, but he says that he says that once he's set free. He's gonna be leaking more gameplay. Oh shit! He's gonna be leaking more gameplay. It's done so fine. So Ganzo in Urdu, I'd like to say, "Yar kutte ki dom teedi ki teedi rahi." Bro, like, like, what, uh, say that when you're out, not when you're still inside, guys. I got a video that I want to show you as well. Check this out. So the GTA 6 hacker who leaked 90 clips. Let's go for 90 likes on the video, Bro. guys. Uh, can a brother get it? If you enjoyed these videos, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. 90 clips and cost 9.3 million dollars of damages damn last year and he plans to do it again once he's set free despite spending time in custody over the past year i mean come on bro at least be out first bro you making you making the situation even worse bro like cuz if you keep on saying this they're not gonna let you go little bro they're just not gonna let you go bro like i swear to god man this is me right now bro like how dumb can you be Saying that while you uh, <laughs> your ass is chained up, I don't get it. But then uh, we actually learned that the GTA 6 leaker was assisted by a 17-year-old. So he they had their group, right? Their own group. This accomplice dog swatted DDoS and sent a heaven proposal to a 16-year-old girl. Oh shit! What you doing, bro? Like why are you sending that? Why are you sending heaven proposals, bro? He also sent feces to another girl with a note that read enjoy your stinky gift from incursion team. I mean, I mean, bruh. bruh. Like why are you doing that? And then uh this is apparently his picture but it, the the face is blurred out for obvious reasons. There was no serious harm and I quote, in doing the GTA 6 hack. And it is insignificant compared to the game's overall anticipation says rep for that 18 year old because when he was first arrested he was like 17 year old and now this like is like 18 year old this is why he hadn't hasn't got like a baton down his ass cheeks this is why they did not wing that baton down his ass cheek and cr yeah. crap like that because he was 17 year old when he started hacking GTA 6 and when he leaked the gameplay and at the time of his arrest but right now Suck is 18 years old and he might be let go and these are the excuses they're making but listen man are they wrong though Are they wrong though? Think about it for a second, okay? Yeah, think about it for a second. Okay, get get yourself like a notebook right now. Think about it for a second, okay? He just leaked some gameplay though. So what people got to see it, man? So what rock Rockstar, so what people saw the gameplay, bro? So what they saw the Lucia Bruna prematurely? Bruh. So what, bro? So what? So what? It's just a game, bro. It's just a game, man. But then check this out. The GTA 6 leaker vandalized web pages with explicit content, but his rep says he's a genius and faces decades in prison. Genius, he said. It was ironic he targeted the makers of GTA, the world's most successful ever video game, where you rob Bill Gang. So that's kind of like their excuse. I mean, bro, like I swear to God, man, like It is absolutely crazy. You ever heard of oh, uh, you, uh, you ever heard of the Florida man? Guys, check this out. The recent trailer for GTA 6 has got people talking, especially about one character that looks a lot like the Florida Joker, aka Lawrence Sullivan. This guy became pretty famous online a few years back because of his unique look, green hair and face tattoos, just like the Joker from Batman. Man. In the game's trailer, there's a quick scene showing a news clip of a character with purple hair and face tattoos. This character seems to be inspired by Sullivan, the real-life Florida Joker. Sullivan himself noticed this and talked about it on TikTok. He pointed out the similarity and even yeah. said, "GTA, we got to talk," suggesting that he th I think there will be a whole lot of drama already though. Like obviously I made uh, two two videos so far on the situation where Sega's are trying to ban GTA 6, Sega's trying to cancel the game. Oh, yeah, there was like a hashtag rip uh, or ban GTA 6 that was trending though. Hashtag #ban. I made a video on a journalist trying to cancel the game. I mean, good luck with that, right? Like <laughs> it's not gonna get canceled but Sega's are dead ass trying to cancel the game okay 
And now we got this Florida man. He says that we gotta talk, Rockstar. We gotta talk. So I sense that he's gonna like send them a lawsuit. And if Rockstar do not comply with them, he's probably gonna sue them. He's gonna be like, give me money, give me money, give me money. Everybody's after the Benjis right now. I think this game is gonna start a lot of. Con it already has. Let's be real. But it's gonna ha it's gonna keep on with these controversies. Honestly, I'm big excited for the game. I'm excited for the drama. I'm excited for the controversies that this game is gonna bring. We're gonna have content all year long. Subscribe if you're brand new, my brother. Thanks the game used his look for their character. It's your boy Joker Gang 305, Raw Sequel Live, Florida Joker, Mammy Joker. You might have seen that character on GTA 6, just dropped the trailer today. You know they got that character with the face tattoos, you know who yeah. they got that expired by? By me. Just look me up, Florida Joker, Mammy Joker, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. GTA, we gotta talk. Yeah. Bing, bing, bing. Like like that bro what like br i mean bro. Bruh, bro why you winking at the camera why you winking at me son why you winking bro but yeah imagine could you imagine like this guy just got tattoos after watching the trailer i don't think so but like i'm just thinking about this possibility right like what if like so many suckers uh start doing this crap and then they're like rockstar give me money give me money you stole my character you stole my face you put me in the game imagine this like this guy is not like the real real flo i think he is but i'm just trying to you know bring in that possibility that what if he's not and uh, he actually got those face tattoos after watching that trailer and imagine like how many people are dead ass gonna do that and try to sue uh, uh rockstar games it's gonna be crazy bro there's no word yet if sullivan has actually talked to rockstar games about this but he's not the first person to think a gta game used their look without asking a famous yeah. case was when actress lindsay lohan sued the makers oh, yeah. of gta 5 for using what she said was her likeness however yeah. her lawsuit Damn. didn't yeah. go anywhere and was eventually thrown out the gta 6 trailer yeah i mean nobody's really gonna win after all like gta it's uh parody it's satire they, they got lawyers they got billions and billions of dollars so like they're they're gonna be fine like good luck with those lawsuits has got the detective hats on for fans, especially with a theory that's been floating around about the trailer playing out in reverse. A user named Hudren on Reddit came up with this idea that the trailer is showing Lucia's story backwards. They even made an edit that makes you think, hmm, maybe they're on to something, but there's more to it. Let's put on our detective caps here. In the official cover art for GTA 6, Lucia is wearing an electronic tag and ankle bracelet, but in the trailer, during a heist scene with her crime partner, she's not wearing it. Now, it wouldn't make much sense for her to get out of prison, ditch the ankle it, pull off another heist and then end up back in prison with a new anklet, right? But here's where it gets real. These electronic tagging devices are no joke, especially in the US, where their use is sometimes privatized. According to ACLU Florida, people can be slapped with these anklets while they're waiting for trial, on probation or parole, or even during immigration proceedings. So, Lucia could be wearing this anklet before or after prison. These devices can be a financial nightmare. Depending on where you are, you could be paying anywhere from $3 to $35 a day to wear one of these trackers. They add in the up fees and you're looking at a hefty monthly dog shout out to these twitter and reddit detectives though i didn't even notice duh, that duh, i didn't duh, even duh, see duh. that like damn i didn't even know i mean obviously like duh i've seen that in the movies and this kind of reminds me of the ant-man you know when ant-man actually i believe it was in ant-man 2 when ant-man uh actor has that one of those bracelets kind of reminds me of that so obviously i heard of it but it's like Damn, man, Rockstar, they crazy, especially, and more than them, these Twitter detectives, they even more crazy to spot this. Bill, this isn't just a Florida thing, it's happening in other parts of the U.S. too. Take the story of Dayhan White, for instance. He had to cough up $300 up front, plus a $50 installation fee, just to get his monitor attached. These monitoring drives defendants into debt. This brings us back to our GTA 6 trailer theory. If Lucy is wearing the anklet while on probation, the financial strain from it... Strong in penny. Man, look at that. Lucia looking like a snag right now. God damn, though. Might push her into more crime. It's a vicious cycle. And from a game design perspective, having Lucia on an ankle bracelet could be a clever way to limit where she can go in the game. At least for a man, bit. Maybe it's. Bruh, come on, man. Like, y'all sick be nerfing her without saying you're nerfing her, bro. Don't nerf the Bruna, bruh. And also, like, do not nerf her abilities to travel around, man. You're gonna have a big ass map. Bro, obviously a bigger bunda needs a big ass map, 110%, but like, damn bro, you be nerfing the abilities though. 
You're nerfing the capacity that she's gonna have, bro. Let her be strong and independent, bro. It's part of the story, like trying to figure out how to get her partner out of jail without getting caught because of the anklet. So while we started off talking about a cool fan theory, we ended up diving into some pretty heavy real-world stuff that Rockstar might be exploring like in GTA like 6. Alright, so gamers like have been that. doing this thing where they're not just comparing photos from the classic GTA Vice City from 2002 to the latest GTA 6 trailer, but they're also throwing GTA San Andreas into the mix. The difference across these games, especially when you look at the 21-year gap, is just staggering. It's a real eye-opener to see the technological leaps in gaming, starting with GTA Vice City. In 2002, that game was a blast with its neon-lit 80s vibe and was a significant step up from its predecessors. But let's be real, those graphics, which felt groundbreaking Crazy. back then, now- And you know the craziest thing here is this, right? An ex-Rockstar games dev just came out and he breaks down the, the trailer for GTA 6. He talks about what's gameplay, where's gameplay, gameplay uh, what's CGI what's cinematic what's actually fake what's real if you want to see what he said click on this video on the screen because I think you're gonna be shocked as to his response because he says that gameplay is actually real oh, the trailer had some gameplay in it though click on it and I'll see you right there